G'day scrappers. All right, man. Yeah. Where am I going? We're back. Here we are. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm at the scrapyard. Uh, he wanted me to unload further up and there's like an inch of oil on the ground, like sludge. I said, I can't, I'm not gonna unload in, s standing in sludge of oil. <laughs> um, yeah, so. And I can't take a, this to the other scrapyard because they give you bins. And I've got uh, some big items there that I can't be bothered putting it all into bins. So. Uh, just going to slowly empty out the van. Uh, got a got a decent amount. Um, just good to uh, clear out more scrap metal before the end of the year. And. I had uh, 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 that's my old hot water system. It blew up on me. Well, it just, it's too old. It's like 25 year old system. <laughs> and, uh, it wasn't worth fixing, spending like, it was gonna cost probably three, three to four hundred dollars to get a plumber to put a new regulator on it. So, uh, there's no point in uh, fixing a 25 year old hot water service. <laughs> so, 1600 bucks later, I've got a new one. I was going to scrap it out because these ones have got the stainless steel um, tank, but for a few bucks of stainless steel, uh, I didn't want to drag it into the back. Um, we loaded it pretty much straight into the van. <laughs> and then this is my old uh, ducted heating system. <laughs> and so, in order to get to this, to take this out, this hasn't worked for years. I had to take this out as well. So it's really good I, I get it off the property because it was, it was still hooked up. It's got a good motor in there, but once again, I didn't want to drag it. Um, through into the backyard and scrap it out. Just got to get the job done, you know. get everything off the property have a total clean out all right um, I've scrapped out quite a 
few PCs and stuff, but I've still got uh, a mountain of servers and switches to get through. So I go to this scrapyard because it's just, it's a lot easier to unload. See that's all the oil sludge there, someone's dropped off drums with oil and that's where you wanted me to stand and unload, I said no way. Not very safe, you know, I didn't want to slip over and you know, and jump back in a van with uh, my shoes covered in uh, dirty old oil. And that's also part of the ducted system. So, uh, without this ducted system, I actually got access around the side of the house where I, I never used to have. And yeah, the other reason is I come here is I can get rid of the odd monitor and um, printers. Not too many, but There's a lot more scrap steel in, in the printer, in that one anyway, the last one, than uh, in the refrigerators and stuff that they get. Good rebar, but... It's uh, too long and all rusted up. I was going to keep them, but just trying to make space. Can't keep everything handy. Forgot to bring my uh, broom. <laughs> Normally I like to give it a sweep. All right, I'll just go around the side and empty out a bit here. PCs loaded with small bits and pieces. Might be time to So I took off some brass, cut out a bit of copper. But uh, yeah, this is a nice tank of stainless. But not for me. That'll do. Ah, 
could have put this in heavy steel, but I don't have enough. Don't have any else. And I got two pairs of these. I never use them, so I thought, what's the point of holding two pair? I got rid of the the old rusty ones. And this thing, this was uh, in the side of the house. Uh, get rid of it. Well, that's that. Let's uh, weigh out and go back and scrap a bit more. Yeah, so I'm just waiting to go back onto the way bridge. So f some people have asked, you know, uh, how does everything uh, get weighed up if you're just throwing it out of the van? Well, <laughs> uh, you can see this truck on the way bridge now. So you come in, um, you, you weigh off, um, or weigh in and unload and then just like I'm doing now just coming back empty and now I go back to the Weybridge office and you know and they uh, pay me the difference in the the weight coming in and coming out so it's pretty straightforward and these uh, Weybridges they're usually in increments of 10 kilos so uh, you know you don't bring a, if you only bring a small amount you put it into a bin and get them to weigh it at the non-ferrous section okay so he's going I go on that's where I normally empty So I'm out of here. So this is the non-ferrous section, but I just go to um, the other scrapyard, which is closer. Give them the, the good stuff. Um, yeah, like I was saying, this place is just easier to get rid of scrap steel because uh, don't have to put it into the bins. It's, it's just a lot more work when you're putting them into bins. Um, so, Thanks. Yeah. So, let's go back anyway. Oh, I forgot. Um, so, as normal, when, I'm, when I bring in scrap steel, it's always around the same amount. So, 600 kilos, general pressing steel. And here, they pay a little bit less, 23. 235 a ton so I've got 141 dollars so but they they don't uh, show it on the bill but there's a levy these days on scrap metal the levy went up the tax levy so that's that's about right anyway um, if they paid 25 cents a kilo then they'd take off one and a half cents a kilo anyway for the levy so same thing so not bad 141 dollars for that load Oh well, I was hoping to get my money back for the hot water service. <laughs> Scrap steel is basically my rubbish. Very rarely do I actually pick up scraps to steel unless, you know, it's right in front of me. Um, but yeah, it's just the, uh, the remnants of e-waste. And so it's still, uh, you know, it's, I'm only a, a few minutes around the corner and so uh, $141, well, you know, that, that's fuel for a month. Um, well, even more, I don't do that much driving. But, you know, it all adds up and, you know, that's just the cheap stuff. And, yeah, the good stuff uh, remains until we uh, get rid of it. So, yeah, that was uh, a good little uh, drop off. And... Yeah, it's just a relief to get 
so much weight off the property. <laughs> I keep saying that and someone actually asked me, uh, what do I mean by getting weight off the property? What is it um, all about? And it, it's just my own thing. Uh, just, you know, when you're processing e-waste, it's all about volume and and tonnage <laughs> and so yeah I just don't like having so much um, you know so much uh, stuff on the property um, I mean it doesn't really make much difference but well even though I'm, a, I'm on a small scale um, as a recycler but the larger recyclers that do have many many ton on site um, there is certain rules and regulations when you uh, you have a waste and and it, they do work out by tonnage uh, you can only have so much so many tons on a property uh, on an industrial property but this being residential um, it's even less so um, well there's probably ideally have nothing on a residential property so yeah I just don't want to have heaps of tons <laughs> um, so this is obviously a power and an air station you know um, booster and the charger I suppose and also a compressor I'm just sort of just trying to get rid of this today I've got to go to the dentist uh, in an hour so I'm just uh, doing something small just something that I need to get rid of this one doesn't work I've got a another one there that uh, I think I'm pretty sure it works um, so yeah as expected uh, we've got a battery a pretty, pretty decent sized battery got some good copper wire get that up okay yeah I usually uh, yeah usually I, I strip these jumper leads but the, this one is actually very thick rubber around it so I might just throw that into insulator wire so I'm doing a scrap metal run uh, you know uh, wire aluminium and stuff in a few days so I might do a scrap metal price check and I want to get rid of uh, this lead acid batteries because I've got a, quite a few UPS's at the moment so I'm going to be scrapping and there's our little compressor that's a cute little compressor and a, with a motor huh. um. oh yeah I've got a bit of mail come through from subscribers uh, so I'll just get this thing out there we go so yeah just a weird little compressor I'll just throw the whole thing into motor and I'll just uh, clean up some of this wire and plastic can go to recycling so all right yeah so this video I just wanted to do a bit of a catch-up and um, yeah just uh, I haven't done a, a few any vi videos in the last few days I, I've been quite busy and just uh, doing a lot of small stuff so I haven't really been scrapping much big stuff apart from the odd PC but I'm cleaning out this area and the garage part um, I've loaded up I've got a lot of stuff that I'm sending to my buyer probably next week so uh, that's what a lot of this stuff is but I'm um, you know all this is mostly empty boxes and stuff so that's all getting down 
everything here is all getting down. Just got all those. Still got the uh, servers and uh, PCs and switches. So this looks like a, uh, it's a Christmas card I'd imagine. And that's a little shark. So I know who that's from. It's uh, Shark Scrapper um, from uh, Florida. And uh, if you haven't checked out Shark Scrapper on YouTube, check him out. Um, I believe he hit 5,000 subscribers recently, so he's moved along. Oh, yeah, it's a little Christmas card. Oh, there he is. That's, um, that's his logo. So, um, yeah, check him out if you haven't and you're into uh, scrap metal and pretty much doing what uh, similar to what I do. Um, yeah. So he's hit 5,000 subscribers, so let's see if he, we can get him to 10,000 next. <laughs> Thanks for that, mate. I appreciate the card. I'll, I'll read that. Stick. Keep me sticker. And I, I got a couple of packages from Amazon, which I wasn't expecting. It's actually from uh, a subscriber. Um, his name is William. So I got these two days in a row um, yeah mate didn't have to send me this um, yeah it's, I've been talking about uh, torque screws and I'll keep losing all my little torques bits and that and so he sent me one of these packs I've gone through quite a lot of packs I always lose the same one <laughs> so I have to end up you know keeping and buying another one but uh, so he obviously uh, watched um, probably the last video that I spoke about the uh, torque screws and I'm looking everywhere for them oh yeah nice there you go <laughs> well you know it's always handy in there there's one that I always lose it's probably that that one there the second one um, uh, this one comes with two okay and so yeah they're usually magnetic so they there you go nice oh thanks for that buddy i appreciate it. i you know you didn't have to send me this you know but uh yeah it was nice of you to <laughs> think of me and then you said another package the next day uh, and it's another set of torque screws but with the uh nice little handy extension um let me just uh bite into this Yeah, these are cool, and um, yeah, there's some uh, some big ones, and uh, we'll go right down to, it looks like T5, yeah, T5, so that's about, that's one oh, for very, very small, uh, still a, a, a popular one, uh, there'll be the T9 and the T10, which are the most used, yeah, that's a T10, and a lot of times, when you just want one of these T10s, it usually costs about the same as the whole packet. Um, yeah. So I'll try not to lose these. They're really handy. Uh, can use a, an extension. Like one of these extensions. I've already got one on the end here. And so you can uh, really get in or just use it straight into the drill bit. Beautiful. Well, so that wasn't, you know, I mean, it was, it was enough just sending me uh, uh, this little kit of torque screws. I mean, look at them all, all different uh, types and um, yeah some real weird ones i've probably bought three or four of these over the time but like i said i keep losing the same one and these are going to be really handy i really appreciate it buddy um yeah you didn't have to do it so yeah well william um i won't mention your full name uh so william thanks very much for that um, glad you enjoyed the videos and uh, yeah it wasn't needed but uh, 
wasn't expected, but uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. Thanks very much, mate. Um, if you ever get a YouTube channel of your own, let me know and I'll give you a shout out. Appreciate it. And thanks for the Christmas card. Oh, it's actually printed. His, these are custom printed from the shark scrapper. Well, he's very uh, creative. Um, so, uh, yeah, like I said, check him out if you haven't already. He does street scrapping. He's got a uh, small uh, up-and-coming e-waste business in Florida. So he does all the, the regular stuff. And uh, he's a good guy. Oh, he's even got... Oh, that's, that's really cool. He's got the Santa, and instead of reindeers, he's got sharks flying through the air <laughs> that's very clever mate <laughs> appreciate it keep scrapping have fun and uh, i'll catch you really soon probably uh, tomorrow i've got to go to the dentist right now so i'm just going to clean up here but uh yeah i'll uh i'll keep you up to date with everything that's going on here and uh leading up to the end of the year and yeah we'll probably do a few scrap sessions on um yeah, this sort of stuff, and also probably do a got to do a scrap metal price check just to see what's happening with scrap metal prices at the end of the year. So I'll get a full price list and we'll check it out. Keep scrapping, and I'll catch you next time.